Hi and welcome to Felicia's Reviews, a channel where we talk about all things beauty, which includes makeup, skincare, and sometimes hair care and nails. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today we're talking about the newest and quite personally the most exciting launch from Tarte Cosmetics, the Ultra Creamy uh, Shape Shape Concealer. Now the first, the original version really didn't, wasn't really my thing because it used to dry out my under eyes but this is supposed to be more creamy and more hydrating and moisturizing as well. So I definitely had to get this because everybody is like freaking out over this and um, I did a whole wear test as well wearing this which I am right now. And the review is actually going to start at this time, so you can jump ahead if you want to, or if you want to see how I applied it and what techniques I used, as well as a few info on this concealer, then keep watching. So Tarte released its um, ultra creamy, more hydrating version of the Shape Tape Concealer, and I was pretty interested in trying that out because the Shape Tape itself didn't really agree with me much because it would really dry out my under eyes, and concealer is... Um, and I and I wear concealer mainly on my under eyes because that's where I have most of my dark circles. I don't really use it anywhere else on my blemishes, but um, it really did dry out my under eyes, look very crinkly and everything, no matter what I would do. So I was interested in a hydrating version of it and a creamy version as well. And this is how it looks. Um, it is the same kind of packaging basically just says ultra creamy That's the only addition that I see on the packaging the shade I have is 27 s which is a light medium sand um, I'm I got the sand version like a bit a bit more of a golden version a bit more orangey tint to this because um, dark circles can be more uh, corrected by an orangey shade or a reddish kind of shade so now I'm going to go in with the concealer. So I'm not going to use a lot of it. I just, I'm just going to use it exactly the way I use all my other concealers, which is doing this three dots like this. The original Shape Tape Concealer was, uh, the original Shape Tape Concealer was um, very fast drying. So you have to work with it really, really quick, which is why I am doing it as well. Yes, there is a definite difference between these two. It does have um, a slight amount of coverage. Does it have really good coverage? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. So, okay, so now my dark circles cannot be completely concealed because I do have the appearance of dark circles because of the bone structure that I have. But I just want to see if it corrects or if it hides my dark circles, not the bone structure. And I don't think it does a really good job of being a completely covering full coverage concealer because I do see some, uh, some darkness peeking through. So I don't know if I should use more. I'm pairing this concealer with a foundation and a primer that I know works really well for me and I've used that millions of times so I know if something is going wrong with my complexion makeup it will not be either the primer or the foundation. I'm going to do one more coat of this again same place. A lot of people said that this version is the shades of this version are a lot lighter than their original counterparts and now that i see you know that i'm using it and i'm seeing it on camera as well as you know like on my skin like this i feel like they are correct because the original shape tape concealer uh the same shade 27s would be completely um 
will be the exact shade that I would need for my dark circles. And this one I feel is a lot lighter. Which means that you need to guess your shade all over again. So if you are a particular shade in uh, the Tarte Shape Tape, you would need something a bit more darker uh, when it comes to the ultra creamy uh, version because the shades here are not the same. They are a little different. They have a bit more lightness to them. So I definitely think that another coat of this did a, a bit more of a difference. I see that it has been concealed to a very good extent and this is just the hollows of my uh, under eyes which I cannot do anything about so I'm going to do this eye now and I will be right back and here I am after completing my entire makeup um, the details of the makeup is going to be right over here easier for you to catch up now, um, if you see a difference between this air under eye and this under eye, it's because there is a difference in the amount I applied it in. Whereas this under eye has two coats of concealer, this one has just one coat. Because when I was when I was applying my first coat over here, I started to see some kind of um, creasing happening over here. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it out with one coat and see uh, whether it, it does the same with just one coat or or whether it does not matter how many coats you have on, it's going to crease anyway. So before I start off my wear test of six hours, um, I wanted to let you know that I'm not wearing a setting powder or a setting spray because I wanted to see how well this product lasts on its own as well as how it plays with other kinds of formulas and other makeup products. So that is the disclaimer over here and then uh, keep watching to see my uh, the end of my wear test. I'm back after my wear test of six hours and I'm going to give you a close-up of how my under eyes look. Before we get to the review part of this video, I think we should talk about this concealer and uh, what is so different about it and what it claims to do, what it can potentially do for us. This is supposed to give you 24 hour of moisturization, how by uh, a built-in eye cream that it has. Apparently it has a built-in eye cream which makes it non-drying, a cushion tape technology which makes um, the appearance of uh, fine lines and wrinkles look a little bit reduced. It's supposed to be full coverage without caking or settling into fine lines. And it's supposed to give you 12 hours of crease-proof and waterproof wear. These are severely huge claims, especially for a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, because the original one did not agree with a lot of people and the problems were the same as mine. Like, either people loved it or completely hated it. There was, like, no in-between for it. So, a lot of people had the problem that uh, it kind of dried out their under eyes, it settles into fine lines and all that stuff. So that was the problem with for me as well. So when this came out, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give Tarte Cosmetics a chance because a lot of their new launches lately have been kind of underwhelming. They haven't really been capturing my attention and, and I feel like that's the case with a lot of people out there. I don't think a lot, I think a lot of people have kind of forgotten that Tarte was once a really good brand, but now I think they're trying to come back with it uh, by introducing or amping up their um, coveted concealer. That is still a lot of people's favorite concealer ever. So is this going to be our new favorite concealer? I don't know, let's let's talk about it. Let's do the review portion of this video and let's start this off with my likes first. Number one, I like some of its ingredients like ginseng and mango butter, which is probably why it, it is so smooth and easy to spread and blend. Number two, I feel like it has a buildable coverage. I don't think it is fully full coverage, <laughs> fully full coverage, um, but I feel like it is buildable and uh, I feel that way because uh, when I was applying it over here on this eye, um, I wasn't completely satisfied with the coverage it gave me. And I felt like when I did the second coat, it was a lot better, um, like as far as coverage goes, obviously. Number three, it plays well with other formulas and other finishes. It didn't really disturb any of the finishes of uh, the stuff that I had on. So I have liquid um, foundation. Um, cream blush, uh, powder highlight, and 
powder contour as well so i don't feel like it has disturbed anything it hasn't been disturbed by any other product on top of it so it can be layered uh, nicely as well number four it is very lightweight i do not feel like there's anything on my under eyes yet uh, until i see myself in the mirror i don't feel like i have anything on my under eyes which is a really good thing especially because i have had two coats on over here it still doesn't feel like i have like makeup makeup on me if that makes any sense number five it blends beautifully it's really nice like very creamy i have to say it's a lot creamier um and a lot smoother than its um original version why because i felt like i had no problems blending it out brushing it out and, and all of that but with the original version it kind of like took a little bit i'm not saying it's very tough formula to work with but it's kind of a bit more stiffy and it dries out pretty quickly so you do have to work very fast with it whereas with this i didn't feel like any of that i felt like it was very easy to use and very easy to blend as well number six it is definitely 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 non-drying compared to its uh original that one kind of was so i was so confused as to why it isn't working for me it wasn't working for me um it felt like my under eyes were being sucked out of all moisture it was completely dry and barren that's how i felt and i could i could like feel like this part of my face being significantly drier than the rest of my face and with this i don't feel any of that i feel like i still have that my moisturizer and all of that i don't feel like i have any makeup on my under eyes which is great number seven it comes in 35 shades so that's pretty cool uh you are bound to get your exact match or if not then you are gonna get your closest match with this for sure because it, it comes in like 35 so and that is the end of my likes and now let's talk about my dislikes and my dislikes are oh i i hoped it wouldn't be that so many but there are a few dislikes First of all, it is a bit oily. It does emit some of its oil uh, and I will explain and expound on that um, in a later video uh, where I'm going to uh, compare it to another concealer. That's what I'm going to talk about it even more. Um, and number two, shades in this version are lighter than the shades in the original version. So I got the same shade that I would get the, the normal shape tape in, which is 27S light medium sand and this i feel is significantly lighter i feel like it's a shade lighter than that one and i don't understand why that is well maybe the next point will help us which is that it oxidizes it does go a shade darker um but i don't know i mean that's kind of confusing see so but you're gonna choose your concealer based on what shade you see it in right but if it oxidizes, you're not going to be getting the match that you chose, if that makes any sense, because it is getting darker. So you would have to purposely get a shade that is lighter and it darkens to the shade that you want. Does that make sense? I, I hope it does. I hope it does. Number four, it definitely creases. Um, significantly no is it a lot no but i feel like if you have more coats on like i over over here i have two coats over here i have one coat why because when i was applying it over here uh it's this i noticed that this part started creasing now bear in mind that i do not have a setting powder or a setting spray on top so maybe this kind of thing can be rectified by a setting powder but i generally don't like using setting powders because they tend to dry out my skin even more and make me look a lot porous which i do not want to look um so maybe if you use a setting powder with it a nice soft setting powder then it might not crease as much i'm hoping i i'm thinking number five it fades it fades and it starts to make your under eyes look grayish and if i do a close-up you can see that there is the there's like a grayish shade over here now so that means that it has faded and number six um i feel like the formula has kind of congealed a bit now i don't know why this has happened uh because i don't have anything on top of this part but this part is the is the area where it feels like it's gotten like 
kind of like spotty and splotchy and congealed almost and i don't know why that is because the foundation that i'm wearing is one of my favorites um and i've used that millions of times and i i just don't know why this is happening um it's not because i'm not i didn't put blush over here or anything else over here or saying powder over here so i don't know why that's happening number seven it definitely can all last um, 12 hours on its own um, if you use a setting powder maybe but on its own I I highly highly doubt it because it cannot even make six hours last so I don't know maybe there's a fine print that we didn't read maybe there's a fine print like you need to use the setting the, the shape tape setting powder with it for it to make up to 12 hours but as far as I could see there was no fine print and there was no mention of the setting powder so if you're making a claim, you know, you're assuming that um, you're, you're when you're making a claim, you are talking about the product itself and not when it works with other products and what it's going to do. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I just I just feel like that's a disappointment. So a lot of people look for a lot of longevity in terms of uh, wear time in their concealers, especially. And this did not last six hours. I don't know if it will work better for you, maybe because if you wear um, a setting powder, it might work differently for you, but I it cannot, my setting powders don't really work well for me, so I don't know. So I think the, this is not going to work for me either, just like its original version didn't really work for me. But I do like the fact that it is non-drying, it, it, it doesn't dry out my under eyes, so I do like that part. And that is the end of my likes as well as my dislikes. Um, you can find this at Ulta Beauty for $27, which is the same price as the original. Um, is it worth its price? I highly doubt it because you can definitely get a better concealer that, perf out that outperforms this in every conceivable way at a very low price point. Um, like the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer, that is my absolute favorite. Um, and it works so good even without um, a setting powder or a setting spray. That is my constant kind of concealer. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's completely the worst it's price. But if you're asking if it's better than the original, yes, definitely it is better than the original. Um, but only slightly, not a lot. It's it's. I don't think it's gonna be a favorite. I mean, it might be some people's favorites because um, a lot of people really do love the original shape tape, but a lot of people really do hate the original shape tape. So I feel like it's gonna be the same with this one. People are gonna either love it or hate it. There isn't gonna be a, a between here. Um, anyway, I will not repurchase it, and I will. I don't think I wanna recommend this to anybody. Maybe if. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape, the original one, was giving you some troubles with dryness only, then maybe this will work better for you. But if you, but if nothing from the original worked for you, then I don't think this is going to work for you either. Like, if you're like me, then no. But if you only had the complaints of the drying out part, then maybe this is going to be a better fit for you. Um, for those of you who are like me, I would suggest that you check that you check out the Elf Camo Concealer, not the hydrating version, the Camo Concealer itself. The hydrating version I haven't tried. Um, I am going to in a later video, but I haven't tried it, so I wouldn't know. Um, so anyway, let's talk about my rating breakdown. And first of all, performance. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 0.75 because it did do some good things, but not all good things. Um, number two is pricing. I'm going to give it half a point because I don't think it's completely worth its price. I really don't. I'd rather pay $32 for Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer uh, than spend $27 on a concealer that doesn't really do much for me. Um, because if you're paying, something, paying for something, you should get the quality with it. But... Don't compromise is my point. Like, there's so many options out there. Don't compromise on um, the quality of the products that you're getting. Even at a lower price point, you can get a really good quality, which is like Elf Cosmetics. That's $6. What else can you get? There's longevity and convenience. I'm going to give it a 0.75 because it is not very long lasting, but it is really easy to blend and easy to use and all of that. Or a recommendation and repurchase, which I'm going to give a half a point on as well because I do not recommend this to 
everybody and I will not be repurchasing it either. Number five is special features, which I'm, which I'm deciding to give a full point on uh, because it is better than that one. Um, and I do like how it doesn't really exaggerate a lot of texture. It doesn't exaggerate your lines. It, it does um, blend very really nicely, very easily. And it does feel lightweight and all, so I'm gonna give it a whole point on special features. Um, which brings my total Felicia score to a 3.5 out of a 5. Um, which makes it above average, but not the best. Make of it what you will. <laughs> um, if you were a fan of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, you are going to be a fan of the Ultra Creamy Concealer as well. If you did not like the Shape Tape Concealer, you were you you probably might not like this one either. So, I don't know. You won't know for sure until you try it out, obviously. My experience may not resonate completely with yours because obviously everybody's skin is different and it, like what they want from products is also different. So... Uh, feel free to disagree with me in the comments below and let me know what you think of this new launch and let me know if you would prefer the original versus the new one if you've tried the new one what your thoughts are on the new one i want to know what you're thinking about this and the original con concealer um, but that is it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me uh, stay tuned for next week where I'm going to compare this uh, with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's a concealer I've never tried before, so that would be interesting to see like what happens with both of them when I compare them. I'm going to try them out as well, so stay tuned for that video. It's going to be interesting, I feel. Or stick around and watch one of my older videos.